space, the final frontier, a vast expanse that has always beckoned humanity to explore its mysteries and secrets. For millennia we've gazed upon the cosmos with wonder and trepidation. Ancient civilizations looked up at the night sky, their imaginations ignited by the twinkling lights above. They saw gods, heroes and mythical creatures in the constellations, weaving tales that have been passed down through generations. We've sought answers in the stars, crafting stories about their celestial dance. These stories were our first attempts to make sense of the universe, to find our place within it. Then came Hubble. This revolutionary telescope soaring above Earth's atmospheric veil has gifted us with breathtaking images of the universe. It has allowed us to peer deeper into space than ever before, revealing the intricate beauty and complexity of the cosmos. Hubble has unveiled the birth of stars, showing us the stellar nurseries where new stars are born from clouds of gas and dust. These images have given us a glimpse into the processes that shape the universe, the death throes of galaxies, capturing the dramatic collisions and interactions that lead to their eventual demise. These events, though violent, are a natural part of the cosmic cycle, and the awe-inspiring vastness of it all. The sheer scale of the universe with its billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, is a humbling reminder of our small place in the grand scheme of things. But now, Hubble has revealed something else, something that challenges our very understanding of existence. It has uncovered phenomena that defy our current scientific theories, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible something that challenges our very understanding of existence. These discoveries have forced us to rethink our place in the universe, to question the very nature of reality itself, something that has sent ripples of unease through the world's religions. As we uncover more about the cosmos, we are faced with profound questions about the origins of life, the existence of other civilizations, and the ultimate fate of the universe. These revelations have sparked debates and discussions across the globe, as humanity grapples with the implications of what we have discovered. Deep within the constellation of Virgo, nestled amongst a cluster of ancient stars, Hubble detected it, an anomaly, a structure so vast, so complex, and so utterly alien that it defies explanation. This is no random scattering of cosmic dust. This is something else. The scientific community is abuzz, theories flying faster than light itself, could this be evidence of advanced extraterrestrial life? A tear in the fabric of space-time? Or something even more profound? Initial observations were inconclusive. Astronomers pored over the data, their brows furrowed in concentration. The readings were unlike anything they had encountered before, leaving them both puzzled and intrigued. The anomaly was faint, almost imperceptible, yet it held a promise of something extraordinary. A faint smudge on the edge of the observable universe. This smudge, barely noticeable against the vast backdrop of space, seemed to beckon with secrets untold. It was as if the universe itself was whispering, urging us to look closer, to delve deeper into the mysteries that lay beyond our reach. But as Hubble focused its powerful lens, the true nature of the anomaly began to emerge. The telescope's advanced optics peeled back the layers of cosmic dust and gas, revealing a structure so immense it defied comprehension. The anomaly was not just a smudge, it was a gateway to the unknown. It appeared to be a colossal structure, a web of energy tendrils spanning billions of light years. These tendrils, glowing with an ethereal light, twisted and turned through the fabric of space, connecting distant galaxies in a cosmic dance. The sheer scale of the structure was mind-boggling, challenging our understanding of the universe. At its heart, a blinding light pulsed with an unknown rhythm. This light, brighter than a thousand suns, seemed to beat like a cosmic heart, sending ripples of energy across the universe. Each pulse was a mystery, a question waiting to be answered. What was the source of this light? What secrets did it hold? The data pouring in was unlike anything we'd seen before. Instruments recorded fluctuations in energy, gravitational waves, and strange signals that defied explanation. Scientists worked around the clock, analyzing the data, trying to make sense of the unprecedented discovery. The anomaly was rewriting the rules of astrophysics, it was both exhilarating and terrifying. The thrill of discovery was tempered by the realization that we were peering into the unknown, into realms of space and time that had never been explored. The anomaly was a double-edged sword, offering both the promise of knowledge and the fear of the incomprehensible. 
For the first time in human history we had concrete evidence of something beyond our comprehension. This was not just a discovery, it was a revelation. The anomaly challenged everything we thought we knew about the universe, opening the door to new possibilities and new questions. It was a moment of profound significance, a turning point in our quest to understand the cosmos. News of the anomaly spread like wildfire. Religious leaders across the globe grappled with its implications. Was this a sign from God, a challenge to the very foundations of their faith? Some embraced the discovery, seeing it as confirmation of their beliefs. Others reacted with fear and denial, clinging to traditional interpretations of scripture. The world watched, holding its breath as science and religion stood at a crossroads. Section 5. The Astronomer and the Priest, A Dialogue. Dr. Eleanor Vance, lead scientist on the Hubble Project, found herself at the center of the storm. Her groundbreaking discovery had the potential to change everything we thought we knew about the universe. A woman of science, she was nonetheless raised in a devoutly religious household. This unique background gave her a perspective that was both analytical and spiritual. She understood the profound questions this discovery raised, questions that went beyond the realm of science and touched the very essence of human existence. Seeking answers, she engaged in a series of dialogues with Father Michael O'Connell, a respected theologian known for his progressive views. Father O'Connell had spent years bridging the gap between faith and reason, making him the perfect counterpart for Dr. Vance's inquiries. Their conversations, broadcast globally, became a focal point for the world's anxieties and hopes. People from all walks of life tuned in, eager to hear how these two intellectual giants would navigate the complex interplay between science and religion. Could faith and reason find common ground in the face of the unknown? This was the question that hung in the air as Dr. Vance and Father O'Connell delved deeper into their discussions. They explored topics ranging from the origins of the universe to the meaning of life, each bringing their own unique perspectives to the table. Their dialogue was not just an intellectual exercise, it was a journey of mutual understanding and respect. They acknowledged the limitations of their own fields and recognized the value in each other's viewpoints. The world watched, captivated, as these two minds worked together to find a common language. Their discussions sparked debates in classrooms, homes, and places of worship, encouraging people to think more deeply about the relationship between science and faith. In the end, their dialogue did not provide all the answers, but it opened up new avenues for exploration. It showed that faith and reason, often seen as opposing forces, could indeed coexist and even complement each other. As Dr. Vance and Father O'Connell concluded their series of dialogues, they left the world with a sense of hope and curiosity. The journey of understanding was far from over, but they had taken the first steps towards a more integrated view of the universe. Section 6. Deciphering the Cosmos, the Search for Meaning. While the debate raged on, scientists around the world worked tirelessly to decipher the secrets held within the anomaly's light. The energy patterns seemed to defy the laws of physics as we knew them. Was this a glimpse into a higher dimension, a message from a creator? The possibilities were as limitless as the universe itself. Section 7. A Universe of Possibilities Redefining Our Place The discovery forced humanity to confront its place in the grand scheme of things. Were we alone in the universe, or were we merely one small part of a much larger, more complex tapestry? The answers once found had the potential to reshape our understanding of existence itself. Section 8. When Science Meets Scripture, A New Perspective As the data was analyzed and debated, a surprising trend emerged. Some religious scholars began to find intriguing parallels between the scientific observations and their own sacred texts. Could it be that what we perceived as a conflict was actually a beautiful harmony, a testament to the interconnectedness of all things? Section 9. The Unending Quest, Our Journey of Discovery The discovery of the anomaly marked not an end but a beginning. It ignited a spark of curiosity in the hearts of people around the world. Suddenly, the universe seemed a little less vast, a little less unknowable. We were no longer just passive observers but active participants in the grand cosmic drama. Section 10. A Call to Reflection. The universe beckons. 
the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. The anomaly is but one example of the infinite wonders that lie beyond our world. It is a reminder that we must never stop questioning, never stop exploring. The search for knowledge and understanding is what makes us human. Section 11. What do you believe? The discovery of the anomaly has challenged our assumptions and pushed us to the very edge of our understanding. It has forced us to confront the big questions, the ones that have haunted humanity since the dawn of time. What do you believe? How has this discovery changed your perception of the universe and our place within it? The answers, my friends, are out there. Keep looking up.